Welcome back, everyone, to our next segment here of Trajan's Bridge. Sorry for the wait on these videos recently. But we are back, and we are continuing our journey to conquer Dacia. With the power of Roman civilization. Last time, we got a uh, new block up here started. And we're starting to get our, uh, our plebs moved in. If we go to our... Uh, population here. We have an available capacity of 222. Not bad. Considering we only have 17 available plebs right now to work. So we do have a decent amount coming in. And we're going to be using that money uh, in no small part to enlarge our economy as much as possible. So let's unpause. We've got definitely a lot to do. Uh, we have a lot more highways to add in particular. And we have our docks up now. Um, if you guys can't tell, that's a dock right there. These are wharves right here. So we'll be trying to add more trade routes when we can. It is July of AD 109. Love the use of AD. CE cucks can go to hell. And uh, let's just check what we're selling here. I want to make sure we're really maximizing, maximizing our exports. So uh, we're selling a decent amount of iron, no furniture, and a little bit of wine now. Uh, to Nysus, we're doing some wheat, and uh, we've maxed out our lumber, actually. No fish. And uh, over here to Lederata, uh, we've been not selling anything. I think this was, maybe this was our new one. Yeah, this is the one we just opened, which is the sea trader. So they're going to be pottery, wine, and weapons. <clears throat> so that's right, we're going to be adding some weapons to sell. Uh, because uh, Sermium also buys some weapons, and then all the way over here in Amona, uh, they do not, but they do buy they do buy more iron, gold, and wine. So uh, we can get a little bit of weapons up. Uh, pottery is they buy forty. Uh, Sermium buys forty. Does anyone else buy pottery here? No. Okay, so that's that's another thing we can do is um, we can't get the clay, but pottery is worth enough that I do kind of want to set up a, a pottery area so we can get selling. And the way we're going to do that is we're probably going to be using this space here for... Uh, we'll import clay right up here, and then we'll use the space down here for pottery making. So uh, you have to be a little bit careful with it when you're importing and then using those materials to create goods. Because the uh, the clay will be delivered from the warehouse to the, the pottery factories you have. And that can be a little bit slow. So you really want to be mindful of where you're placing your, uh, your, your workshops in, you know, respect to where your, your source is, is for your imports of the raw materials. But that's all boring stuff we'll take care of in a bit. Let's add, I'm going to add a couple more houses here. <clears throat> Let's go up here, up here, and up here. We'll do three more. And that's right, we're being harangued for weapons, so we will be sending out some weapons soon. And I'm gonna be adding another uh, another fort here shortly. So first things first, we can, I think, sell a, a little bit of furniture. Yeah, Thessalonica takes, but I don't think anyone, does anyone else take furniture at all? I'm gonna recheck here. It's really just Thessalonica. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple furniture workshops here. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'll do. I might add them up here. Uh, just like put them right here so they could just be working and taking them back to this, uh, this warehouse. But I kind of don't want to do that because if I have... Um, Imports coming in of clay. You know what? Maybe I just won't do the imports here. I'll, I'll do a separate warehouse for imports. That's probably the better solution here. Uh, I don't want to be uh, putting too much pressure on one single, uh, one single warehouse to do too much work here. Got my coffee. Uh, fan of mine here, a, a buddy on my stream, sent me a bunch of stuff from Canada, including some Tim Hortons coffee. It's so my first time having Tim Hortons. I opened up the maple package, maple flavored, I guess you could all call it. And that's what I'm uh, sipping on today. It's uh, it's a bit sweet, a bit sweet for my taste as I rudely wipe my nose here. But uh, it's pretty good. 
Oops. Uh, I think I had said deep keep storing, didn't I? What did I click on there? Well. I don't know. If something went wrong, we'll find out soon. Okay. So, let's do... I think I will actually do... Um, some furniture here. Just because it fits kind of nicely. And so these guys should take over here, yeah. We see them. We see the, uh, the furniture shop getting to work right away. So, we'll let that happen. And we'll add furniture here to the, uh, to the list of things to accept. Just eight, not too much. Timber, well, yeah, timber's at 16, that's fine. And then let's go over to our trade advisor and start selling some furniture. It's only 15 a year. So, honestly, two furniture shops is probably going to be sufficient for that. Just a little bit of extra money, because why not? We like money. Alright, remember, we have to fit an arch here, a triumphal arch, so we don't, we don't want to build a highway right here. We do, however, want to build a highway kind of coming up here. So let's, uh, how do I want to do this? Let's get rid of these bushes here, so I have nothing in the way. I think, you know, I would like to leave a, uh, a warehouse open right here. Just like that. And this is going to be, I guess we can leave traders on there. I'll leave it as not accepting anything right now, but this is going to be for our imports, right? And we're going to want to take uh, the imports from here to the pottery. Now, what I could also do here is, well, let's let's try something. Let's go, can I highway this? Is this legal? It's ugly, but I think it's legal. So, I'll highway that. Because remember, it, we just have to have the highway going from the entrance to the exit. It doesn't have to be, like, perfectly, perfectly done. Um, and then, what I might do here is actually, I'm going to rebuild this. I'm going to put this over here instead. Oh, for God's sake. There you go. Turn off those market ladies. Market ladies are a menace, never forget. And we're going to do some something like this. And I'm gonna get a roadblock here. I don't have to. I think this is this could work out fine, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're in a northern climate. We always have to remind ourselves we don't need uh, we don't have to worry about fires. And then I'm gonna add some pottery barns. Let's add a couple right here, just to start out. Maybe three, maybe four. And we'll allow over here, this is going to be our pottery and our clay. So let's go over to our trade advisor. We're going to turn clay on to max here. And then we'll go down to pottery and we will start exporting that. Alright, so these should start gearing up their work and then we can be selling pottery. <laughs> Excuse me as I hiccup. Which is worth, what, uh, 140 a pop, which is nice and juicy. Considering we could sell 80 of those a year, I'm not complaining. Definitely not. Alright, what's next on our list of things to do? Well, I kind of want to add another fort here. The reason being is because we're going to be, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, we're going to be asked by Caesar to provide reinforcements uh, to certain cities. So I want to make sure we have a, a decent amount of forts going here. So let's do... Um, hmm. I'm going to do another Javelin Fort first. Right there. 
And we will uh, oh, decrease trading of fish. We almost goofed here, didn't we? We got uh, we got distracted. Let's get our engineer here. And we also <clears throat> need to get a, another roadblock here. There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And then we'll probably we might loop this road around again right here. We'll see. We'll we'll definitely add some more pottery in the mix. We want to just get the pottery area right here so that the the clay just gets delivered right here. We don't want to have it going too far away. That's uh that is important. All right, we have a couple extra bucks, so let's get the uh, the highway road right here. Yep, I told you. Uh, dispatch a relief force, and it's a small force now. Sometimes I have trouble with the small force, because in my experience, the small force is just two armies, or you know, two two forts worth. But sometimes I lose on uh, on those. But let's uh, let's try it. You know, if we lose, we lose. Let's go um, to our military advisor, and we'll open up our Prima Legion and the rabbits here for. Uh, Empire service, and then we'll go ahead and send them off. There we go. All right, there they go. We're at no invasions right now, so I don't feel too bad about sending them off right away. Mm -mm -mm. Loving this coffee. All right, nice, and we're getting our clay. There it is. We've got our clay pumping out. We've got uh, the clay being delivered to these things. You can see them working already. Everybody's looking uh, fabulous here. Getting their work done. That's what we love to see. I will go ahead and add an, one more uh, pottery workshop, I think, right here. Yeah, let's put it right there. Just so... Just so... You know, four is a nice even number. I feel like we're going to be constantly selling with four producing. Alright, and then especially since we're selling less fish now, too. Not that we were selling too much fish to begin with. That's just a... Uh, so, you know, it's kind of a nice extra, a nice extra bonus, a nice extra buffer. All right, what's next on our glorious Dacian conquest project here? Well, hmm, we can probably level up this city. Eventually, we're gonna have to get more farms. We only have five farms uh, support in this block here, which is not uh, not a lot. We do have some temples. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and, and get our entertainment here. We can grab a... Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. How could I forget? I've been playing another map on the stream. I've been doing the Reconquered campaign. And, uh, I, uh, you know, each map is such a different experience. It's easy to forget certain quirks about certain maps. And this one's quirk is, uh, well... You don't have access to a lot of your, uh, a lot of your entertainment buildings. So... I'm going to get an arena, and I think I'm going to stick her right here, because we can get a, uh, we can get some desirability buildings here, and I think we can get plazas on this map even, so yeah, we'll get the arena right there. I'm going to get the, uh, library. The library is desirable, so I can put it right here as well. Oh, and we are being, see, there we go, we're being asked for furniture, and we just put up some furniture, so that's nice. We'll get a couple more houses here. And then, let's also uh, get some desirability buildings. Desire buildings, as I call them in my, uh, in my, uh, my little tutorial I made for you guys a while back. Uh, I'm not going to put one here because I want to obviously use this for, for houses. So I'm going to instead get some statues right here. One, two... Three, and then uh, we can do we can do like lorariums here, or some uh, to, um, to help it out a little bit. Let's get a statue right here as well. Boom! I didn't see what that was. Decrease trading for wheat. Okay, so you can see our initial trade uh, that we were relying on in the early game of food is really starting to to fall off, and we're being pushed more in a direction of 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 goods, except for iron. I think we're still selling a, a buttload of iron. 
Speaking of a buttload of iron, uh, let's uh, let's talk about iron mines and gold mines too. So, <sighs> and Mona, oh, that's not what, who we're working with. Okay, we can sell fifty a year to Thessalonica for iron. And Nysus is, yeah, kind of cut down on everything. So Nysus isn't really a, a great trading partner anymore. Ladurata is going to be wanting some weapons and wine and gold. Okay, so they do trade gold. And Sirmium wants gold as well. Now, gold is worth 200 a pop, but it takes a lot of plebs to work. So I do want to get some gold going. Uh, let's go over to our gold mine here. I don't think any of this was was gold mineable. Uh, we could replace iron mines if we want to, but we're selling iron nicely. We're kind of like got a nice thing going on with our iron mines, so I don't want to I don't want to get rid of those. A price rise in weapons is nice. That's good for us. We could add some more weapons for sure. Okay, so we could get some gold mines over here. We can get some up here, although um, you know plebs plebs gonna pleb. Uh, and then we can get some up here as well. You can see it, it kind of turns a lighter shade of red in some of these areas. So we could have like a, a bigger area of, of gold up here as well. And that might be what we uh, we actually do. Let's clear out some of this mess. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to lower the amount of, of wood here I have to 8. Maria Timber. Just to make room for other things that I have coming and going. Just because we're we're only selling, I think, what was it, 30 lumber a year now? Which isn't that much. Like, we we get that done like halfway through the year. So let's uh let's pull back on the on the uh, on the lumber production a bit, and then let's go to gold. So you can see there's a, a good amount of gold we can get here. The issue is where we're going to be putting the um, the uh, the big boy, the cart depot, and the warehouse, and how far we want them to to carry things along. You could also go down here to start. Let's uh. Clear out this area a bit. How many can we get down here? Raw materials. Oh, Two thousand plebs. All right. All right. That's a that's a decent amount of gold mines we can get right here. So let's do it. We can go. How many do I have available? I've got seventy three plebs. So let's get two gold mines. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's get a couple of uh, roads here. And I'm going to get the warehouse down here, I think. And we're going to get a uh, turn off everything here. Just going to be accepting gold. This is going to be our nice gold area. Where are you, gold? There you are. And we're going to be getting... Can I get more gold up here? Oh, I can. It goes all the way up here. Oh, and even up here, look at that. Oh, wow, okay. This goes up much further than I thought it did. Even, oh, look at that, even over here. Okay, sorry, I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm just surprised. I don't know if that was always like that, or, um... Or if I'm just right now realizing it, and I'm just surprised to myself for not realizing it when I first played this map, but whatever. Either way, it, <laughs> it works out. Okay, let's get an engineer here. Let's get a car depot over here. And we're going to be taking this gold over to... Where do I want to dump it here? I could dump it in in the pottery warehouse. It would probably be gone as soon as it gets there. So that's, that's kind of a safe bet to do. So we could do that. The lumber... I know it looks like there's a lot there now, but it's only because we're just now hitting the new year. So a lot of it's going to disappear. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put it in this one. Let's just get gold here for now. Gold, and we're going to bring it down to 8. There we go. And then we can do gold. From 9 to 8. There we go. Alright, we're still storing our furniture. 
which is kind of a slow process because we don't have that many furniture warehouses right now. I could add an, another one. Um, just uh, to increase the production. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't know. All right. Either way, we're kind of poor right now. So let's uh, let's take it easy with our resources. I do want to add some more farms here. And then what's our pleb situation looking like? We have room for 344 more. So we got room for a lot. We'll have a lot more plebs coming. All right, nice. Let's send off that furniture. Uh, and then we need to, of course, get those farms. I think I'm just going to get the farms now. Um, <laughs> We can get one here. Can't get one here because it blocks off the road. So we can get one there, although it'll block off gold mines. Gotta be a little bit careful with that. Let's uh, let's get this thing going here. Although you know, I don't think we're gonna need this many mines. Although we could add weapons here too. You know, I'm sorry, I'm I'm mumbling to myself. I'm helping myself think. All right, let's go like this. Maybe. And... So we would have a mine here. We can go up like that. And then... We could do a farm... Let's roadblock like right here-ish, maybe. Actually, I could roadblock right here. Can't get one there. We could get one here and here, like this. I don't know if we can fit another farm here. No, we cannot. Uh, I'm going to move the road here a little bit just to make it a little bit more flush. Actually, no. We gotta remember mine, so we'll need to have a road here. Okay, that's fine. I mean, this works. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight farms here, and that should be. I think that should support what we got here for now. We can add another one here, and then we can also add farms up here if we need to. So, no, uh, no worries there. If anything occurs, we can also import from from other places. We can set up our car depots, especially from here, because we're not really selling that much anymore in terms of uh, food. So we can start importing from there. All right, what does that put us at? We're at 24 plebs available now, so I kind of don't want to, uh, to add too much here. Let's look at one of our advisors, our chief advisor. People are immigrating. Okay, so we're not, uh, we produce much more than we eat, perfect. We're not too worried about, um, about what you might call it. Let's get another group of infantry here. We're not too worried about uh, problems getting plebs into the city. Decrease trading again. Ooh, of iron this time. So iron has gone down in Thessalonica. Thessalonica only takes 30 iron now. Okay, good to know. I think it was 50, now it's 30. So we can probably take down iron here a peg as well. And we can do weapons instead. Now, I... I see that this is full. I'm pretty sure I had weapons. Wheat. Timber. Iron. Wine. Do I not have one taking weapons over here? Maybe I don't. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. So, first things first. Let's get uh, our cart depot. Put her right up here. And then we're doing weapons. Are we accepting weapons here? We are not. Okay, let's go down to eight weapons. Furniture is eight, and I'm gonna bring um bring iron down to eight as well. And then we're gonna be moving from two to five from our cat depot. Weapons. Two to five. And let me also make sure that I have weapons for sale. 
Oh, I'm stockpiling. Okay. Oh, that I think that's what I actually hit. I think I hit the uh, stockpiling. Wait. I could have sworn I had weapons coming up here. Somebody, somebody, tell me I'm lying. But if I did, I don't see where it was. I've got these four. This is a lot of timber yard here. All right, I must be, uh, I must be imagining things. It's common. It's common in old age. Fear not. All right, let's add a couple more highways. Three down there, just to expedite this process. Getting the, uh, the the traders in and out, and then we will continue to wait for plebs to move in. And then, what's the next project we can do? I do want to open another trading post soon. So we could save for that. I think the next one is 3,000 Nari, which is, you know, we're almost there. Ah, you can see we have gold here now. We're starting to go increase trading of gold to Lederata. Excellent. That is, I think that's the one we don't have open. Oh, no, it's the one we do have open. Yes. Okay, now they take 15 gold a year. Okay. So we are going to want to uh, increase our gold our gold sales and our gold manufacturing uh, to the greatest extent possible just because we want to be selling it all the time. I mean, gold is just so much more valuable than so many other things on this map that, you know, you just, you want to have it. Alright, looks like we have weapons coming in here now, so we should be selling those like hotcakes. Got some wine here, we still have iron, we still have um, timber. We could honestly, we could shut down some of our timber yards here get rid of them that wouldn't be a problem but um i'll probably keep them there for now our prosperity goal is 80 i forgot so we actually don't technically need patricians here but i'm probably going to get some anyway decrease training again now we're really getting hit timber damn timber to nicest went down all right let's look at nicest 30 timber wasn't it already 30 am i making things up am i uh Am I weird in the head? Could be. Alright. I'm gonna grab another house here. And I do want to grab another gold mine as well. So let's go raw materials, gold mine. Drop it there. And that's gonna bring me down to 13 plebs. So I don't want to be too ambitious with this. And we can do a... I think we have enough to open up that trade route, so let's do it. This is a... I think it's a sea trade route, yeah. They'll buy more gold, more pottery, more wine, and more weapons. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up. And I kind of want to not get so much... Uh, of the wheat here anymore. I'd rather just be getting more wine. So, I'm going to get rid of a wheat farm here. Get rid of that one. Let's get another vine farm instead. Put it right there. And let's get a couple of uh, wine workshops here. Well, one, two, boom, right that. And we'll have just more wine to send out. Which is good. And then we'll probably extend this road to add, make more space for uh, for different things to uh, be built. I kind of want to get rid of a couple of these timber yards, to be honest. They're not necessary. Uh, we are we're definitely overproducing timber right now. Considering we're not selling that much of it anymore. we got to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit careful with that. Mm. Okay. Now, we will have more... I think weapons was being increased here, too. So, I do want to get uh, a couple of weapons factories. In fact... You know what I should have done? I should have replaced these with weapons, but that's alright. Um, let's get them up here. Uh...
Yeah, let's... I'm gonna get one right here, actually. Or maybe I'll get rid of this one. Workshop, weapons... Where are you? There you are. Okay. And I'll get one right here as well, I think. Should be fine. Alright, so that's going to be more weapons and more wine that's going to be delivered up here for us to sell. You can see we're, uh, we've opened up some space because we reduced the amount of iron and timber we're taking in here. I do want to get a little bit more pottery. It looks like we're constantly producing on these four, so let's uh, let's actually help that out. Let's get another pottery workshop here. We'll go up to... I think we can afford to go up to six. Let's do that. So we're... We just want to be constantly selling. Remember, we can sell 80 pottery a year, which is ridiculous. That's so much pottery. And it's worth 140 a pump. That's a, that's a big money maker. So we want to focus on pottery, and we want to focus on gold. Um... You know, gold is just... Gold is gold. You can't go wrong with gold. So we will be doing that. Let's make sure we're continuing to expand here as we can. Because, again, more plebs is equals more gold mines. What else could you ask for? Alright, we've got uh, these two forts. Basically a full strength. Hopefully our, our relief force wins their battle. That's the, uh, that's the big question, isn't it? They win their battle, they come back, uh, and they can help us defend the next invasion. If they lose, then we gotta rebuild them from scratch, and that sucks. So, we'll be a little bit careful with that. And then I kinda wanna get a legionary fort. You know what else I wanna do here is I wanna add some, uh... I do wanna add some defenses. Right now, they're... I think they're being like filtered this way because we have no bridge over here yet but once we bridge this over and we start using the space they're going to come down this way um because i think they actually have a space to do that yeah i think they can go come around like this there's like a a one hex path that they can take to invade my uh, my glorious roman land and we don't like that uh we don't like dacians we don't like barbarians um nothing nothing good ever came out of dacia it's true yesterday, it's true today, it'll be true tomorrow. So, we will uh, build a wall, and we will make the Dacians pay for it. That's the objective. We've got 46 available plebs right now. I could do this... Um, you know, I could do this... Where do I want to do this sound? I might be able to do this, like, right here, to build a couple towers. Alright, we're getting... Asked for fish, that's fine. Uh, we can... Because what they're doing... If they invade from here, they're going to come down... Like, either like this or like this. And then if they invade over here, they're coming over like this, right? So, even though we can't really get a full wall here... And go crazy, we can get a good enough wall. Let's, uh, let's remove some of the... Some of the excess here. And I'm going to get a... Uh, Gatehouse, right here. I'm gonna wall this up right here. At six. And we'll get the road. Your relief force defeated the invading barbarians. Caesar sends forces back and we get our ability to make our first triumphal arch which is pretty huge remember we need two of them so we need to win two of these battles nice and then i'm just going to get a couple i'm um, just for now because these do take some some resources some people we get one up there one down here i think that's fine for now okay that'll that'll that's a start we'll have our men coming back so we'll have reinforcements oh our gods are pissed aren't they damn Gods are not happy. So let's um let us make some more temples. I don't have any marble yet, although I could import if I wanted to. So I'm gonna get one, two, three. Did I? Oh, I don't think I got a bath here yet. I did not. Let's get a bath here in a second. 
four, five, because I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have to make a road here essentially. Um, and then our bathhouse. Oops. Drop it right there. Okay, that should uh, that should help out with the uh, angry gods. It's like our okay. unemployment. We've got 37, and we have room for da, 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 219 more. Okay, so we can add another gold mine now if we so choose. Yep, we can. You can see our money now really starting to go up. We're uh, we've really got a more complex economy that can support just uh, bigger building projects and that's what we like to see. Let's get another gold mine. Put it right here. And that's going to bring us down to seven plebs available. So four gold mines going at full speed is going to be kind of okay. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to, considering we have to take it all the way over here, it's uh, there's a little bit of a wasted time, so want to be want to be a little bit more than a efficient here I guess we want to add more than you think you would need to just because we want to have gold here constantly I want to have constant gold available for the traders to buy along with pottery as well um, you can see we've got a little store of pottery here we've got uh, we added some more weapons workshops here so you can see we have less iron uh, going around it's being fed into weapons more, which is totally fine. Uh, weapons are worth way more than iron. Uh, they're worth weapons 150. Iron is worth 45. So I'm, I'm not upset at the fact we're selling less iron. And I am happy at the fact that we have more weapons coming in. Mmm. This coffee's so good. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to warm up to it, you know? I'm starting to enjoy my, uh, my maple-flavored coffee. Definitely is, uh, that definitely is good coffee. Okay, let's add a couple more houses here. One here. One there. Alright. Gods are no longer angry, which is good. And, uh, eventually we will start getting that, um, we will start getting the marble in here so we can really increase our our monu monument building and things like that. Oh, that's right. We got the ability to, be to build a uh, arch, right? A triumphal arch? Where are you? I always forget where this thing is. Triumphal arch. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is uh, this is bigger than I thought. Okay. So we're going to need to get rid of that. And we'll go triumphal arch here. Get out of here, plebs. There we go. I don't know why I with hey, what are you complaining about? They want to sell me. And we're going to eventually have to get the other one right here. But we haven't sent out troops yet to help another city, so that'll that'll come later. Okay, we have our arch, our first arch here. Looking good, looking, looking solid. Love to see it. I think we can still get a, uh, a dock here, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. We can dock this up still, and then we can have another, um, another, whatchamacallit, another warehouse here, and then we can have more production here if we need it. So, that's good to know. Alright. And we're just kind of playing the waiting game on some plebs. 213, we're going to be coming in. I kind of clicked those really fast. A lower price. Rome reduced the price of marble. Okay, that's good for us. And then triumph. Your victorious soldiers march, march home proudly. Excellent. The men are coming home. Here they are. They're coming from up here. And they'll be just in time to defend us against a, uh, a soon-to-come invasion. So I'm happy about that. Let's get a couple more houses here. And... This block is basically going to be full up now, so we could, I mean, technically I could get like a reservoir up here and then get fountains right here and build up on this side. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, I might just start expanding over here. And really we've got two major locations to start out here. We can, we can build a city here, we can build a city here. We could get gold up here if we wanted, but honestly we have so many like mineable areas here. I don't think we're going to need to really 
exploit resources from this side of the river. I'd rather use this for like a nice, healthy pleb block. And then, you know, we might even get patricians right here. They can have their own little island almost. You know, we'll just have a nice, healthy patrician bridge. I don't know, like right here-ish. And uh, we can defend invasions here and then... I don't know, we'll, we'll put a wall up, some defenses right here as well. Or, you know, we might even just wall this off completely. I think that might be the better option, because we just wall this whole area off, and so that invaders will naturally just kind of flood over this way, and then we can just always defend in this area. I like that idea better. I think that's the, uh, the more sound plan. So we will do that. So what does this entail for us now? Well, I think... We're going to go here first. What is our max pleb count? So we can hold 28, 28 plebs. We only need 6,000 for the map. So that's easily done between this area, this area, and then we can have something here as well. So we, uh, we are going to go here first. I'm going to take away a big old swath of land. And then we have a lot of money, and that means two things. One, uh, we're going to be getting... We're going to be getting more highways, and two, we're going to be opening up that last trade route. It's a land trade route. So, let's do both of those. I'm going to do the highways first. Get a nice old uh, stretch here. Oops. Here. Here. There we go. Let's do that for now. Just increase the amount of traders we have coming in. And let's also open this guy up here, Amona. And they'll buy much more uh, iron, so we can get more iron mines here. And more importantly, more gold and more wine. Alright, new trade route established. go. We've got 89 available plebs here, so I am going to take advantage of the situation and get another gold mine as well. There we go, gold mine number five. In fact, I'm going to get two. Let's get five and six. That's six gold mines here. It's a lot of gold that we're going to be constantly pumping out. And I'm going to get a, uh, a line of walls. I think I'm going to get them like right here. And I'm going to be just trying my best to get these invaders, when they come over this way, to just ignore this area completely. And, uh, and then head this way. That's the idea. We can get another, uh, I don't know, we'll get another set of walls right here, too. There we go. Okay. So, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and start this block right here. We have a fair amount of rocks here, but that's okay. We can do... Oh, Emperor Square Antude, you're welcome, Emperor. I'm going to start right here. So this is going to be 20. I think I got 20 is fine. Can I do 8? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Slightly smaller uh, than a normal block that we use, but that's fine. We're going to get a reservoir. I think we'll just put it up here. This actually might cover what we need. Just barely. Yeah. Yeah, that's just fine. Okay, that's good. A distant Roman city is threatened, but we are invasion imminent, so I'm not going to send it right away. I'm going to wait until after we, um, we finish our invasion here. And then I'm actually going to get a legionnaire group. Um, I think I'm going to put it right here. Just so we've got, like, a, a fat group of legionaries who can stand right at the gate, and if they, they rush through, because they do have cavalry who comes in, so they get through really fast, we can just have a, a 
group right here that responds. Now, I'm kind of surprised that these are working. Because people shouldn't be able to get over here, right? Right? Like, if I build a, an engineer here, this shouldn't activate. Yeah, okay, I was right. All right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, these shouldn't be turning on. These have employees, but I guess... Um, uh, I guess waterworks can work with uh, with no technical access to uh, to plebs coming in, but the other buildings can't. Okay, you learn something new every day. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a low bridge. Where am I gonna put this big girl here? We're gonna. Oh, do I want to do it right here? And then have like farms coming up this way. I kind of want to do that. Let's do that. Um. Let's get our road right here. Let's get our granary. That's not a granary, Chad. That is a warehouse. Where are you, granary? There you are. Let's get a roadblock. Let's turn off the boys. Making sure we're only getting market ladies. And then... Turn on these guys. I could fit like a farm right here. I might do it. But I might not. Let's um, let's focus more on what we can afford right here. Did I turn on wheat here? I don't think I did. Okay, there we go. We got wheat. Let's get a farm. All right, we get two of them more like this. I could get one right here, but that would make the plebs very upset. I think I might actually get this one right here. That's fine. And then. We'll, uh, we'll bring this down like that. It's three farms for now. Let's put the engineer right here. Let's get a prefecture. Just, uh, just to kind of start out here with uh, the things we need. I'll put it right there. Okay. And then I'll get the health buildings in a bit. Alright. Actually, we can get the doctor right here. Doctor... Barber. I just can't help myself. It's, it's the way it is. Is there any other silly one by one spaces I can get to? Not really. Eh. See, I'm going to be having houses here, and maybe some here. So I don't want to have too much over here. I'm going to put this. I'm just going to put it right over here, I suppose. Okay. All right. So I mumble to myself. All right, we should have uh, weapons coming into our barracks, right? Zero units. Oh, maybe not, because they're not connected to the uh, to this thing. Okay, let's uh, fix that. I'm just gonna do this for now. Is this gonna be sufficient to grab weapons? We're gonna find out. It might be. And because we're selling so many weapons now, I do kind of want to increase our weapons capabilities here. Our weapons manufacturing capabilities, I guess I should say, more correctly. So, that being said, I think I'm going to... I'm going to get a, uh, a road here. Like that for now. I'm going to roadblock this baby here. Is it ugly? Yeah. Do I care? Not really. It's If it's ugly and it works, then it's still ugly, but at least it works. Now, we're also going to have to build more bridges here, so we've got to be careful about that. And we're at... Oh, we only have four plebs available, so we are not going to... We are not going to be building too much right now. In fact, okay, I still have room for 214, though, so we, uh, we have room for more. Just got to wait for them to come in. 
Mm -mm -mm. What are we at here? 49 minutes, 50 minutes or so. I think we can get this next invasion done, and then we can kind of get the the basics started on this block. And once we have that going, uh, we'll probably be in a good place to uh, to get set up for the next video. I'm gonna get another farm right here. Some four farms. That'll be supplying the plebs we don't have here yet, but that's all right. And I do want to get. Um, we want to get some marble in here. I think I'm going to build that other dock. Oops. You guys probably heard that. That was uh, Windows telling me to uh, set up a device. Please ignore it. Yeah, I'll get the uh, get the other dock right here, and the other warehouse can go like right here. And then we can just road this up like that. And then we can we can use this for um we can use this for importing shit like bricks or sand, marble, things like that. That's just gonna be that. I'm gonna designate that, because we're already doing clay and other things here. Clay pottery gold. So we'll be we'll be a little bit uh, a little bit conservative with that. Alright. Speaking of gold, I think we're Let's look at our sales. We're in October right now. And we've... Oh, no, this is the wrong button. There we go. Uh, who's who's buying gold here? Who's our gold bars? I think they're all up here. 2 of 15, 7 of 16, 1 of 25. 2, 7, and 1. So we've actually only sold 10. Uh, 10 gold this year, which is not great. We've got more coming in here. Well, we have one more coming in there. So, what we really want to do is just increase the amount of gold we're producing by a huge amount. The price rise in wine is good, because we are selling some wine. Like, we want to have a ridiculous amount of gold. And I do mean ridiculous. Like, we want to be... It, it, you want it to look silly. Like, we're going to be a gold mining colony. That's the idea. Now, I don't like that we're not getting invaded yet, even though we've been invaded in imminent for, it feels like, forever. Because this is... I, I need to send this out before a certain number of time passes there. There's... I, I don't remember what the time is, but if you send it out with, like, just a few months left, your forces will arrive too late, and the Emperor get mad at you. So, uh, there is, like, a hard limit on when you want to send things out, so... You have to be a little bit wary of that. Can I get... I know I can open this up. I know I can get fish here. I, I did that the first time I played. I got a lot of fish here, but... Uh, can I get mines here? No. Okay, no mines here. I can get some iron here. Maybe just a little bit, though. Let's, um, let's clear this out. I could get one, two, and then I can road. Okay, that does count. So I could have uh, a little bit of a weapons area here. A very small amount, but that's fine. That, that, that would be enough space for four weapons. Uh, so that's not terrible. And I don't think we're getting weapons to these guys yet, even though we're storing a little bit here. I think they're getting sold before we get weapons in here. So that's not good. That is not good at all. I'm going to go ahead and... How am I going to fix this? What is going to be my weapon solution here? I mean, the easy solution is just to produce more weapons here, but... What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I think weapons produced right here for now. We could add another one here. I do want to get rid of this, to be honest, and move it, like, up here-ish. Let's do that. Let's get our cart depot moved up here. And it's going to be, what is this, wine from 2 to 5. 
wine, two to five. There we go. And then we're going to get rid of this big guy. And that'll let us get our road out like that. Which is going to let us um, kind of take advantage of this. This nice spicy area here for more weapons. So let's do that. Workshop. Weapons, weapons, like that. So these three have a closer destination to deliver our weapons. And still we wait. Small force, 13 months. Maybe the uh, maybe these guys can't cross over the. I wonder if that's actually an issue. Can they not cross over the uh, the highways? I think they can. I don't mind pushing a car. It's more entertaining. The because these guys can for sure. Like the the guys pushing fish over and stuff like that. I think it's just a, a matter of us not having enough weapons there at all times. I think that's the problem. Is we're selling the weapons before these guys can even have a chance to get any. So I will, uh, I'm gonna actually stop selling weapons just for a pinch. Or I'll do like, I don't know, we'll do exports over war or something like that. Just so we have a little bit of a stock here. And then let's see if that will be uh, enough to satisfy satisfy our barracks, so we can start populating our uh, our legionary barracks right here. This invasion just is not coming. It's uh, starting to make me worried here. I'm gonna go ahead and move these out. I feel like it's like I feel like we're right there, right? Like it's. I'm pretty sure it's invasion imminent when we got the. Uh, yeah, there it is, okay. Alright, these guys should go like this. They should not attack this. If they do, then what we'll do is we'll just kill the bridge. And that should prevent them... Yeah, they are attacking it. Alright, let's, um... Kill the bridge. It's gonna make this stuff disappear, but see how they moved over. Uh, and then we'll rebuild it. No bridge. It's all right. These guys are still stuck here. All right. These guys are attacking again. Let's build a bridge again. Okay, at least we know now. There we go. Let's get rid of them. Get out of here. Get rid of these things. There we go. Alright, let's send everybody back. And then I'm gonna actually put one more up for um for service here. 16, 16, 10, 14. Okay, we're going to do this one here. We're going to send these guys off. So everyone should be heading off to where they need to go. And that should be uh, sufficient. I think we'll go ahead and stop there. We're at about an hour exactly. So uh, next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this, uh, this block up. We're going to try to make it as efficient as possible. And that should get us up to a near probably 5,000-ish plebs. Uh, about, maybe a little less, maybe like 4,800, because we'll have uh, a nice ring of plebs on the outside. And then I do want to get some patricians on this map, I've decided. So I think I'll put patricians on their little island right here. 
I think I can I can get patricians with a Grand Temple of Venus to help out with the entertainment. The, well, the lack of entertainment, I guess I should say. We can at least get like small to medium villas. I think that's that's okay. We could get a hippodrome too. But uh, until then, I'll leave you guys there. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this episode. Sorry, they're coming out a little bit slower here. I'm still having to take care of a few more things than usual. You can join me on Twitch if you want to see Caesar 3 or other games like it as well at twitch.tv slash authorvalentine. And until next time, you guys have a good rest of your days, evenings, and mornings, as they may be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.